player up until now. Whereas Izayoi actually is starting to be extremely consistent in his uh, participation to our tournament. So I'm really looking forward to both uh, participants' performance tonight. We will see exactly how it will go. Both participants are actually very strong. I think that uh, Hakuman is starting to get really used to Baiken also, so it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be um, a real exercise for him to uh, fight against such a good player as Izayoi. So let's see how it goes. So Chip Izayoi against Hakuman. Baiken, let's start. Okay, early IAD from Hakuman was... Oh, an early parry from Hakuman as well. Very nice stuff from him. There you go. The pressure is real into the Tatami Gaishi. The Tatami Gaishi is plus on block if you do it at a certain timing. Uh, it's actually... If you do it close enough, it's actually always plus on block since it falls down on the opponent, giving you a little bit of frame advantage. Very nice first round from Hakuman. Wow, early Yozons and catches the opponent right on counter hit, but Izayoi is definitely not one to just get flustered by one single bad interaction. Here we go, another Yozon Sen counter hit. Hakuman is definitely letting the Yozon Sun ri uh, rip. Here we go, Izayoi though dropped his combo unfortunately. He has been shibarid right now, but very nice conversion that he's going to get the wall break into the soft knockdown. Thankfully for him, he's going to get the uh, positive bonus, very nice uh, grab right there from Izayo and the Alpha Blade uh, cross up for the win. Very nice stuff from Izayo. On to the final round of this uh, match. Let's see who will be able to take it. Ah, again dropping the combo. This is unfortunate, but thankfully for him, Hakuman committed to the parry. And given that it was on his recovery frame, wasn't able to catch the drop of the combo on his counter hit active frames. Wow, okay, very well, it was an okay use of the burst right there. He didn't get caught by the uh, cross-up of the Alpha Blade and just like this, Izayoi takes it with a grab. Nice stuff from Izayoi. Let's see if Hakuman will be capable of adapting to the current uh, pressure from Izayoi, who's definitely not stranger to uh, the Viking matchup, I do believe. Very, oh, very nice a block from Hakuman. They didn't get caught by the Alpha Blade, but the Aerial Alpha Blade, the Diagonal... Diagon, diagonal? <laughs> Alpha Blade actually managed to catch him off guard. Here we go, YRC into the Alpha Blade, and the full bleed charge does... This is gonna do a... Yeah, a decent amount of damage for... Uh, Alpha Blade, it's, an, it's, an, it's, it's nice damage. I'm not gonna say the contrary. Ah, almost got the conversion from the Jumping HS, but wasn't quite able to get the perfect timing on it. Probably it is character specific. Very nice uh, confirm right there from Izayoi. He saw that the 2S into the 2HS actually hit his opponent. He was able to Roman cancel it to it and get the wall break. Let's see how further. Okay, you can see the Hakuman is having some trouble pinning his opponent down. And I'm sorry, by the way, Izayoi <laughs> did get one match already. And I just updated the, uh, the score right now. Okay, very nice mix-ups from Izayoi. Definitely mix him up his options so that Hakuman doesn't have time to adapt. Okay, Tatami Gaishi pressure is real. Ow, oh, that was a Hail Mary there from Izayoi. Really not afraid at all to just let it rip. Again, the grab from Izayoi. Oh, no, I think it's going to be a little bit too... Yeah, unfortunate. From Hakuman. And yeah, the, 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 the punish from Izayoi. Very nice stuff. Okay, and Izayo, whoa, he was able to, yeah, again, drop the combo, this is unfortunate. And the drop from Hakuman as well. You need to understand, though, that Hakuman only has recently changed uh, his main from Giovanna to uh, to Baiken, so it's only normal that he has some troubles being fully optimized with Baiken, but probably it's just a question of, uh, of uh, you know, getting used to the character. Uh, it's first to three, first to three, yes, here we go, perfect. <laughs> okay, we're on to the third match. Is are we going to see an adaptation from Hakuman? Hopefully, we will. Okay, okay. This time I was able to confirm. Nice start from Izayoi. <laughs> An air trade right there. That was quite funny. Okay, very nice stuff from Izayoi. Like knowing that Hakuman is going to take into the air, and he jumps himself into the air and manages to. Uh, well, to, to get uh, Hakuman into a block uh, stun to prevent him from uh, further mobility. Very nice stuff from him. 
Again, the Yozans and Yakuma not afraid of using it. This time around blocks the overhead, good stuff, but it's not over still uh, st since Izayu had some uh, he had some tension bar to Roman cancel right there. This time around, Hakuman takes the first round of the third match. Let's see if he is going to be able to take the second one as well. Unfortunately for him, Izayu fell on the floor quicker than him and was able to punish him before the tatami reached him. Here we go. The oh, okay, very nice Kabari right there. He wasn't quite in, uh, able to get the conversion, unfortunately. Again, drop the combo. I think this time around, the overdrive is going to hit. Yes, it does. And as you know, Chip has very low health. Just a couple of hits and you are dead. Okay, here we go. The pressure is really like noticing that Hakuman uses a lot, uses the counter a lot. Okay, this is gonna be Alpha Blade. Yeah. Oh, and nice read from Hakuman, but again got red. His jump got red, but Hakuman right there. The patience was able to punish the Alpha. Well, actually, uh, block the Alpha Blade and then let the 2S rip in order to hit uh, Izayu before he was able to do anything. Nice stuff from Hakuman. Puts one on the board. Let's see if he's going to be able to put another one. Still. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Hakuman definitely... He's a little bit struggling right now. And uh, yeah, he's struggling to... Uh, well, to basically... Uh, the, 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 how do you say it? <laughs> how would you say it? He's struggling to uh, keep... Uh, well, to keep the pace with uh, Izayu right now. Izayu doing a really nice job of being very nimble. Very... Uh, well, just overly... Well, very just nimble. Hard to, uh, to pin down, you know? So yeah, he's doing a very good job at doing this, actually. Okay, again, the fully charged dust. This is gonna do a ton of damage. And unfortunately, they didn't get the finish of the uh, of the of this. This is unfortunate, but it's life. It's life. Nice stuff. Here we go. The overdrive. But yeah, Isaiah just noticed that. Yeah, probably Agumon had the tension board. Was probably going to resort to using uh, the uh, well, basically the um, what's called the um, the overdrive. Nice stuff. Very nice patience and very nice uh, uh, read over uh, overall from uh, from Isaiah right there. Good stuff. Okay, here you go, Hakuman with the pressure in the corner. But yeah, he's always just staying extremely patient and not biting to any bait that Hakuman might be throwing his way. Like, very nice patient from him. Here you go, Gold Burst from Izayoi. He wasn't quite able to get Hakuman on block, but this time manages to do so. Hakuman eats a big overhead on his face. <laughs> okay, oh, unfortunately, yeah, the revolver couldn't fight the fireworks, couldn't fight hit their marks. This is unfortunate. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Ooh, ah, early air to air right there. Wow, nice conversion from Izayoi. Nice. He is going to get a uh, hard knockdown right there. Oh, and a little bit far for the uh, for the uh, for the command grab there. Again, resorts to throwing Hakuman. The Alpha Blade right there and throws air throw right there from Izayoi. Is he gonna take it? Ah, and unfortunately for Hakuman, he gets caught on his way down from trying to... He uh, made it to top 8, and this time around he's going to fight Kohide. Kohide, a very strong Giovanna player. I had the uh, honor and the pleasure of fighting against him in several different uh, tournaments, uh, during which most of the time he defeated me. So yeah, he's definitely... Uh, well, I believe he's uh, very, very strong. Uh, Giovanna and overall GGST player. Here we go. Early burst forced upon Izayoi from Kohide right there. Unfortunately, he gets hit, counter hits uh, by the uh, jumping HS from Izayoi right there. Here we go. Kohide making his way ever so slightly on the defense of Izayoi and both opponents uh, fail to grab each other, even though both of them try to grab each other. <laughs> This was kind of a very uh, fun iteration. Very nice stuff from Izayu right there. He's probably gonna... Yeah, he's gonna get the uh, wall break right there. Nice stuff from Izayu. It's still not over. Very nice punish from Koi. They immediately resorts to canceling in Vantania right there. And Vantania into death. Nice stuff from Kohide. That was pretty nice. Very nice uh, damage right there. Here you go. On to the second round of the... First match, here we go, Sukiyaki uh, escorting Kohide in the corner. He definitely doesn't want him to get out of here. Here we go. Wow, that was a very cheeky Nasante right there. Caught the Alpha Blade. 
actually. This is something that's uh, very, very surprising. I didn't even know it was possible. He's going to get a lot of damage plus the uh, guard break right there. Here we go, and that punish on the attempt of Izayoi to uh, use the Roman Cancel to slow down time and uh, try to, uh, well, basically uh, push, uh, put pressure on him. Very nice uh, stuff from Kohide. It takes a very, very quick first game. We'll see if uh, there's going to be some sort of adaptation from Izayoi in the second one. It's probably going to be the case. Yeah, Izayoi is definitely... Yeah, Izayoi is, uh, is good at adapting, I think, so we'll see how things goes. Okay, just run up and grab. This is the best... The, <laughs> the strategy of no strategy, but if it works, it's perfect. Two command grabs in a row. Izayoi is definitely not afraid of letting things rip, but just like this, Kohide resorts to IAD and getting out of the corner right there. Here we go, he eats a big overhead right there. He's probably not gonna want to bow oh, and hit the drop, the combo drop. You don't want Kohide to stay alive. Very nice stuff from uh, Izayoi. Still, he was able to take the win uh, despite his drop, but it's still okay. Okay, here we go, IAD into and jumping HS and Izayoi, very nice. Use the back dash not to get caught, but still, Kohide very, uh, well, extremely uh, proficient at grabbing people, actually. Okay, here we go, yeah, okay, Kohide is starting to get a read on the jumping timing of Yizai, who uses a safe, safe jump setup to uh, basically earn the win, yeah, to uh, use as a safe setup to bait the DP and then punish it accordingly into a wall break into the win. Here we go on to the final round, very nice dash into standing uh, into 4S from Kohide, is going to get the, um, the uh, Sepultura right there. Oh, and the Alpha Blade P punish. He wasn't able to get the uh, conversion, though. A little bit too far for it, I suppose. Oh, and the, oh my god, the 2D uses. The 2D use as a anti-air, man. This is freaking crazy. Good stuff from Kohide. Puts another one on the board. It's 2-2-0. Two, two, is Izayoi going to be able to swift this shift, this momentum? We will be seeing it in a couple of minutes. Let's see how it goes. Okay, on to the uh, potential final match of this set. Okay, here we go, Sukiyaki and the Golden Burst from Kohide. This time he's going to be extremely dangerous. Izayu definitely needs to be extremely wary of this. Oh, here we go, just jump on him with the S right there. Uses again another safe jump. Ooh, the big 2D right there, counter hit. Wasn't quite able to get a conversion off of it, but still, it's okay. And it goes deep in order to catch any sort of backdash from Kohide right there. Wow, and here we go, the overhead, double overhead. Okay, this time around, Kohide they didn't have enough uh, bar to use the overdrive, unfortunately. Oh, and unfortunately for his Aoi, Kohide, he went, like, he hit every single spot on the screen except the ones where Kohide went. Was this is so unfortunate from his Aoi. He had the correct red, but still, it's not over till it's over. Okay, very nice Alpha Blade, and Kohide just leave it, let it rip, and gets it. Izayoi got hit right there. Very nice stuff from Kohide on to the set point. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Okay, double dash from Kohide. Extremely wary of Izayoi. Doesn't want to get jump on. Oh, that air, man. Very nice stuff from Kohide. Ah, but Izayoi makes his way slowly, but ever surely opens up Kohide. Very nice jump back from Kohide. Didn't get caught by the command grab. Here we go, Sukiyaki overhead into wall combo from Chip. He's gonna get the wall break. Kohide held, holding on to his burst. He knows that even with that amount of health. Oh, and that call out on the Alpha Blade from Kohide. Definitely reading stuff right now. Oh, and the jump in. That would have probably spelled death if he was, if he had been able to convert. Very nice. Oh no, that was unfortunate. The DP was unfortunate. It's not gonna kill, I think. No, it's not gonna kill. Okay, here we go. If he used the tension, probably would have killed. Very nice two jumping 2D from Izayoi staying alive. Okay, here we go. Still match point. Well, still set point. Ah, yeah, Izayo just sticking to the air. Doesn't want. He definitely doesn't want Kohide to catch him with anything, especially not the 2D encounter hit. This is gonna be a full combo into Vantania. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at this damage. Where's your health, Chip? Where's your health? Where did it go? Very nice blocks from Izayo. He do doesn't get opened by the overhead, but gets opened by the cross-up grab right there. 
Koki did again using the 2D, I could hear it. Okay, very nice overhead. This is time you definitely want to make it work. Uh, yeah, very nice mixes from Isayo using the uh, the summit mixes actually. Okay, here we go. Nice jump in. Oh, and the Vantani. This, is, yeah. That call out on the bird. Let me clear this up real quick. Here we go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So it's going to be Kakeru-san. Nobody needs to really uh, introduce Kakeru-san anymore. He's been a regular of our Brojo Cup tournament ever since it, it, ever since we started, I think. But Pito-san, however, is the this is his first participation, I believe. So I'm definitely looking forward to how he will be faring in this tournament. Here we go. Very big 6P from Pito-san. Okay, the whiff punish from Pito-san. This is going to do a lot of damage, especially since... Kakeru-san doesn't... Oh, he did it. He went for the reset, unfortunately. Oh, and here we go. The legendary... Oh, he actually managed to do it. Here we go. Highlight. Sasoku highlight. It's so much. Kakeru-san, what is that? Cemetery mob. Highlight. Very nice stuff from Kakeru. So there's a legend. Not a legend. There's a... Uh, how do you call it? There's a tradition that if Kakeru Togo-san manages to to land a cemetery mob i have to put it in the highlight it's 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 a tradition so it's like これも伝統なんですが伝統っていうかそうですね伝統で鍵とごさんがセメタリーマップを成功できたら必ずそれをハイライトに入れることで今できたのでえっとハイライトに入れさせていただきます Anyway, so here we go, we're on to the uh, final round right there. Pito-san definitely not deadered by the fact that he got hit by the cemetery mob. I think Kagiru-san is the only salt player who actually uses it so proficiently. Okay, here we go. Oh, almost got the uh, whiff punish right there, but instead he got the 6 HS uh, counter hit. This did a lot of punish, especially with the conversion that he was managed to pull right there. Very nice. Stop me with an amount again. Oh, is this gonna do? And here we go. Bandit bringer from the win. A quick 1 0 for Kageru Togo. That was pretty crazy. Here we go, on to the second match. Let's rock indeed. Oh, get early IAD into the jumping HS from Kakeru togo -san. A cheeky attempt from Kiro to just run and grab him, but kakeru -san aware just bag that and punished him accordingly. Big uh, DP wake up from kakeru -san. Didn't want to deal with any type of pressure right there. The double Fafnir on block. The second one whiffed, unfortunately, and no punish on it. Here we go with Kakeru-san just calling out the fake pressure from Piro right there and uses uses the 5k in between block strings to open him up and ooh almost got the go and wait oh the dust on wake up from Kakeru-san manages to pull the win good stuff from him okay just run whoa Piro-san not not afraid of just running and hitting 6p man good stuff oh couldn't get the punish on the on the vortex right there the recovery is just too quick. Oh, and Kakeru the sun gets the uh, punish on the overhead. Good stuff from Kakeru. Oh, and what? That was crazy stuff from Piro. Just used the bad dash to not get hit by the six HS. Good stuff from him. Again? No. Oh. Kakeru san, yamete, yamete. Highlight was one thing I didn't use. Yamete, please. Good stuff from Kakeru-san. Here we go, second cemetery mob. Second one he managed to land. I'm going to have to choose between one of them yet again. <laughs> I think he's definitely doing this on purpose. He knows that I, I have to choose between one of them. But good stuff from Kakeru-san. Still, he's on fire, man. On fire, just like bringing the fire, bringing the... The pain to his opponent, right? Just like this, he gets he's on freaking set point, man. This was this was so quick. Good start from Kakeru-san. Here we go. Almost punish the uh, stats from um, from uh, from Piro. Okay, big gun flame right there. Okay, both opponents trying to whip punish each other, and unfortunately for Piro, Kakeru-san finds the opening first. He's gonna get the yeah, Tyrant. Yeah, <laughs> Tyrant Ray for the. Hard knockdown and what manages to catch the bag dash. But I do believe that he subs a chaos as well, if I'm not mistaken. 
probably. Uh, subs Chaos and Main Sky, probably. But anyways, looking forward to this match. This is gonna be pretty nice. Yume, Yume Giwa Hatake-san, a fellow tournament organizer. Let's see. I think this is probably the first time I see him play, so I'm definitely looking for a very nice grab from him right at the start of the uh, match. Okay, again, when Freddy grabbed this time around, wasn't able to find the opening. Very nice stuff from him. Here we go, though. He got grabbed himself, and so he is using some very personalized setups right there to uh, to loop the uh, grab, actually. Good stuff from him. Okay, back to neutral. Here we go. Hatake-san trying to find the opening. The aerial opening very, very, again. Here we go. The tick throw. Okay, went again for the tick throw. Couldn't get the opening this time around. He went for the throw again, but unfortunately this time around Seto Yudes was definitely aware. YRC from Hatake and YRC from Seto Yudes as well. Okay, who is going to take this? Seto does have a burst left, so definitely in a favorable position to take this round. Was able to get the first part of this 2P, but not the 2D that follows. Okay, finally resorts to using the burst, so both opponents right now are on. Oh, and the... Oh no, he went the other way. This is unfortunate. Oh, and gets sniped from the air by Serori. That's very nice stuff. He takes the first round. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. The fight. Uh, Hatake san finds the opening. Okay, went for the throw, but this time around, Serori this was aware. He backdashed and punished accordingly. Here we go. The pressure is real. Serori definitely does not want Hatake out of the. Out of the corner, and here we go to Hail Mary DP. Very nice stuff. Entire works as an entire as well. Very nice stuff. Here we go. Fudra Dark couldn't quite connect the rest of it though. Couldn't get the knockdown as well. Nice entire from so and from Hataki goes deep to get the grab. He goes for the uh, cross up from the toupee. <laughs> Is it the toupee? I forgot it's called the toupee. The toupee mix. Very nice 2D right there. Oh, and the gold burst right there from Serori, from uh, Hatake is gonna get the hard knockdown. And here comes the schmixes. Okay, he went for a regular throw. Okay. Oh, and both opponents. Oh, and she went for the instant dust and two, but couldn't get the conversion. Oh, and the gold burst, man, he's going, he's used everything in the book, man. Serori does use everything in the book, man. Every single thing he had, she used it. And that managed, that enabled him to actually get the win. So very nice stuff from him. Okay, on to the second match from... Okay, first op opponent... Ah, opening from Hatake forces the burst from Serori Des. Okay, here we go, Hatake trying to uh, make it... Uh, yeah, trying to find the opening, really going on at his pace, doesn't want to overextend, and this, and just as I say this, he just runs up and proceeds to using close S. He's gonna get a nice little mix-up right there, front, back, front, back, which one am I? You will not know until you get hit. But it, just like I say this, Silly just actually managed to block the second uh, the second mix up. Good stuff from him. Finally manages to force the burst upon Hatake, but Hatake just like this entire him. He's gonna oh he didn't, didn't quite get the rest of the conversion. Oh and the, oh, okay raw Roman cancel. Okay stuff yeah yeah both of them definitely want to yeah they oh here we go the pressure's real very nice bad dash again from Silly manages to to, uh, yeah, just evade, to dodge whatever is thrown at him and just punish accordingly. Good stuff from Sillery. His use of the backdash in the corner has been pristine. Good stuff. And just, I think he went for a throw, like the regular uh, Kai, uh, the, like the regular Kai strategy right there. Here you go, very nice throw from Hatake. Is he gonna get the mix? Sillery, very, very solid, man. Doesn't get open that easily, man. He's been blocking like probably 70% of uh, Hatake's mix-ups and real mix-ups, like not fake ones, you know, good stuff. Oh, here we go, you got the food for dark. Was it? Ah, and again, the grab this is gonna do. Good stuff from Hatake, yes, he gets it. He puts one on the board. Yay, gambate grasai. <laughs> good stuff from my fellow tournament organizer. Okay, on to this third match this time around. Let's see who is able to take it. Ah, the big first burst from, uh, yeah, from, uh, from Hatake. Here we go, Serori, definitely very good at just simply, quite simply, like, uh, managing, uh, managing neutral and not, like, getting hit by anything. Oh, here we go. Ah, the big overdrive into the hard knockdown. Yeah, you have to take it. You cannot do otherwise. 
Okay, here we go. Very nice combo right there. Ends up with the grab. Is he gonna continue? Oh, okay. Unfortunately, the toupee. I forgot how you do the top. I'm sorry, top head? The, the top. I forgot the name of this attack, but the top? Yeah, top. Let's call it top. The top uh, actually provoked the uh, caused the uh, break, the wall break, and uh, Hatake couldn't use the overdrive because of it. But still, okay, he got the win. It's this is what import. It's this is what's important right there. Again, the command dash for the mix-ups into the wall break. Good stuff from Hatake being extremely solid, man. So we're oh, and just run and hit buttons, man. This is how you should do. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so he's trying to calm things down right there. He's definitely getting. Um, He's getting, uh, he's getting overwhelmed by, uh, by Hatake's, uh, momentum right there. Oh, okay, here we go, the sledge. Uh, and just, yeah, the, the, Hatake being so nimble, really. You can see Celery has a, a lot of trouble just trying to pin him down. Okay, tried to use the 2HS, I believe. It traded, unfortunately, for him. Again, just like last time, run up, grab into Roman Cancel. Oh! He didn't get the converter. This was this was win for you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, why, why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh no, this is unfortunate. That was so unfortunate. But good stuff from Hatake. He puts another one on the board. It's still not over. We still have the final uh, match coming up. Let's see how it goes. Are ah, it was Sansaki des, Sansaki des, Sansaki des. Ah, so ka, so ka. Celui des wa, moshika shitara are ka. Are o tsukau ka. Are o tsukau ka. Sansaki des. Are? Are, are, are. Eto, Sansaki des. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, chaos ka. Yappari, yappari so motte tan desu yo. I knew it, I knew it. I knew that Celui had a, a, a pocket chaos. I knew it. I told you guys, I told you guys, I knew it. Yappari Celui san wa are desu yo ne. Chaos tsukai datta n desu yo ne. Okay, so this time around we can see that Serori went to pick his happy chaos. Let's see if he manages to turn the tide thanks to it. It's gonna be pretty hard though uh, because of the mobility of Hatake. Uh, Hatake's milia though. Yeah, one opening can mean death. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Unfortunately, he got hit by the sledge, and again, here we go. Rear in mixed world, double overhead, and very nice back dash right there. Probably his proficiency at using back dash is definitely due to his uh, happy chaos matchup knowledge. I can, I, I'm sure of it. I'm certain of it. Unfortunately for him, he's probably gonna get okay. Just okay. Well, Hataki going for um, going for resets, but it's working for him. So who's one to uh, complain? Good stuff. We're here we are on set point. Is there going to be? Any sort of adaptation from Serori Des. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, Serori definitely. Oh, gets the conversion. Is he gonna get the wall break? Yes, he is. Good stuff from him. He got lots of bullets, lots of concentration. And unfortunately, Hataki reads the attempt of him to backdash. Okay, here we go. Sledge into mix. Okay, here we go. He made a clone in order to make it safe a little bit more. Oh, gets hit by the draw. This is unfortunate for him. This should probably be death. Yeah, good stuff from Silly. Very nice juggle right there. Silly not dead yet. Let's see how it goes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Silly has problems like like trying to contain the hurricane that is Hataki right now. Is forced to burst and get, hits the sledge accordingly. He even gets the curse. Okay, here we go. We're in pressure time. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Oh yeah, he has almost full concentration bar. Oh, okay, gets hit again. He gets cursed again, though. Oh, here we go. This is death, actually. Good stuff from Serori. He's going to bring it back. He puts one on the board. The Gyaku Tendesu. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, here we go. Is Hataki going to find the opening? Yeah, definitely you want to be close to Chaos. You don't want him to take any sort of advantage. Oh, and too late to draw and your burst got made it. This is gonna hurt so much. Okay, here we go. Hataki unfortunately goes for the resets. This is unfortunately here we go. The double grab and you are in the corner. You have to stay. Okay, he got cursed. Yeah, oh, and just barely manages to get to hit with the uh, with his um, with his gun right there, with with his shot and 
gets the overdrive into the kill. Good stuff from Serurides. Oh, and the 2D counter hit for the Schmix. Good stuff from Hatake. He's probably gonna get the... Okay, Hatake definitely doesn't want to go for uh, the wall break. It's been really characteristic, uncharacteristic. Okay, here we go. You are on the ground. And just like this, Serori is a match point, by the way. Yeah, definitely. We are looking at a Yakten right there. You don't want to hit a button. You don't want to hit a button. Okay, shoot you. Yeah, he's back. Oh, but you don't have any bullets anymore. Oh, oh, this is so clutch, man. Yeah, don't let him live. <laughs> don't let him live. Oh, and here we go. The wall break. How is it gonna go? Okay, the clone gets immediately shut down. Yeah, you can see, yeah, 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 definitely. Hataki made the correct choice, and just like this, we are on the final round of the final match. How is this going to play? Very nice air to air right there from Hatake. He gets the advantage, he's gonna get the full combo with the wall break. Okay, but just like this, the, the, the neutral is reset, unfortunately, and just runs up and just tries to open him up. Oh, yeah, and suddenly just really, really, really um, struggling to keep Hataki at bay. Ah, uh, yeah, with two bar, this is probably death. Yeah, this is death. Very nice stuff from Hatake-san. He takes it very con A very strong salt player. Probably one of the best salt players in the world, I do believe. So, yeah, this is going to be much of a hurdle for uh, Red Sun to try to adapt and to, uh, yeah, to, uh, to shift things in his favor. Okay, here we go. Very early jump in from Red. Oh, again, very nice recognition from player Red there. He... Force the burst from red right there. Okay, Gamma Blade right there. He wanted to keep the pressure, but unfortunately, player managed to get out of the corner by IADing and crossing red up. Very nice. Big 2S two two counter hit right there. He managed to get the wall break. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's time to bring the Bane. Okay, that was a cheeky 6P six, uh, six right there. Actually, managed to uh, trade with the trade with the, the Fafnir, that was uh, okay. oh, you're gonna just run up and grab, this is all you need, oh, and the big DP from red, he couldn't get the conversion though, and player reads the jump in attempt, but didn't get the convert, the full conversion, oh, just like this ah uh, oh my lord, that was crazy good stuff from red, extremely clutch round right there, he managed to Take it by the skin of his teeth, man. Ow, oh, again. We have a very nice read from player. But seeing that red is jumping a little bit too much. But there we go. Big Fafnir in the face. <laughs> again, Fafnir. Okay, nice stuff from player. Uh, I couldn't quite manage to deal with the uh, jumping to uh, K from red right here. Okay, but okay, Raw Alpha Blade actually managed to open things up. This is very big, big stuff from Red. He got the oh, very optimized combo right there. So he's gonna get the wall break, the hard knockdown. Now, is player going to attack him on wake up? He isn't actually. Okay, respects the pressure. Fair enough. Oh, okay, ooh, very nice reaction for player. Definitely not willing to let Red ju jump on him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay, Vortex, no punish on the Vortex. But very nice, uh... Oh, and bam, did Revolver Raw into the... Oh, that was so unfortunate for Red. He was so close to taking it, but it's still okay. It's not over till it's over. He still has his, uh... His wits. Okay, oh my god. And okay, Raw 6P right there. And the DP for the momentum shift right here. Okay, oh, and... My lord, the delayed overhead from Red was genius. Definitely catching player off guard and definitely shifting the rhythm right there. Okay, here we go. 2S finds its mark. Oh, nice. Delayed overhead from Red. He's gonna get the wall break, but still, it's not over. Oh, honestly, like, it wouldn't surprise me that player finds the most optimal route. Oh, and okay, 6P for the. Oh, that was. Yeah, that was a DP. That was definitely a DP. Oh, Lord. If that had been baited, that would have been the end. Okay, here we go back to neutral. Oh, and Bandit Bringer manages to open his. Open it up. No! Oh, that was so close. Ooh. Oh. Oh my lord, that was so intense. Good stuff from Red. Manages to take the first match, man. Good stuff.
that delayed that stare down from Red. He was definitely wary that something was probably going to happen, but he just chose the perfect timing to press a button and just open player up, man. Good stuff. Very nice cross up, uh, jumping HS right there. There you go, Bandit Bringer on blocks. The Sukiyaki finds its mark, opens its. Oh, and again, the 6P counter hit for the opening. Oh, and just, yeah, just red running straight into a forest right there. This must have hurt so much. <laughs> player, player just moving around with, with forest. That, that was pretty comical. Good stuff. Okay, here we go. Fafnir for the pressure again. The 6 HS to like prevent ya. Player from getting uh, in a little bit too close. Okay, oh, no punish on the wild. Well, too far to punish the 6, uh, 6 P, unfortunately. Okay, yeah. Oh, Lord. Here we go. The fake out in order to get the command grabber. Right there was pristine from player. Very nice stuff. Okay, here we go. 2 HS. Oh, unfortunately, no confirm from Red right there. He couldn't quite open up. And too far to get the conversion on the 2S after the counter hit on the, uh, the Sukiyaki. Okay, is he gonna get it? Yeah, he got the conversion. Good stuff. He gets the full punish with the wall break. Very strong performance from Red today, man. He's definitely on fire. Things are looking pretty good for him. He managed to get, get to force the burst from player right there. And the 2HS. Yes. Good juggle right there from Red gets the second round of the second match. Is he gonna get the second match in its entirety. Here we go, the pressure's real and the DP on block. This is gonna hurt. Okay, oh, no punish on the bandit right there. This is unfortunate. Okay, nice back dash and again gets, gets hit out of the air by the 6P. Very nice awareness from player and wake up. 5P, man. Ah, this is not dead. Oh, and the 6P for the freaking momentum shift. Here we go, Red is on fire, man. Red is on fire, this is crazy. Okay, he did get the wall break, but honestly, this is anybody's game. Probably more in favor of Red since Chip has a better mobility, but player not afraid to just run straight at his opponent and press button and open them up. Nice stuff from player. Nice, com uh, nice um, awareness and uh, and and just overall solid factor from him. Like seriously, very nice stuff from player. Red definitely not seeing his last. Oh, and wake up deep here from player. <laughs> Uh, the player factor is definitely here as well. Uh. Okay, no punish on the gun flame. I think he was maybe two, but it's still okay. He got the conversion right there. He's gonna. Oh, he dropped it. It's still okay. He's got the conversion on the jumping HS Gamma Blade for the pressure. Here we go to S2 HS counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of freaking damage. Well, uh, well, all things considered. Okay, very nice confirm from HN Red, and just like this, he gets the first round of the third of the third match, Andy. Good stuff. Okay, moving on to the second round of the third match again. Gets six speed out of the air. Nice conversion from player. Is definitely going to want to uh, keep Red in the corner where he can more or less try to contain him. But unfortunately, for ooh, that six P uh, punish on the four HS from. <laughs> was crazy. Look at the damage, man. Where's your leg? Where's your health? Where's your health, friend? Where's your health? <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. Good stuff. Good stuff from player. That did a ton of damage right there. Okay, back to neutral. Here we go, red. Oh, and the 4, 6S right there. HS, I'm sorry. Okay, finally forces the burst from red, but these things are looking a little bit bleak, to be really quite honest. Red doesn't have any tension anymore but he doesn't have tension he doesn't have burst his life is yeah is not looking quite good right there and yeah this is gonna spell death good stuff from player definitely very nice composure from him takes the second match and moving on to the third match let's see how it goes okay on to the third match early air to air from player but yeah red just doing a really good job of using 6p himself and just punishing any attempt of using fafnir or any four type of uh, of of, uh, of of moves from player oh and here we go wake up dp player not afraid of using it man there you go bandit revolver you're in the schmix and just run up and grab it. this is not gonna be actually here we go wake up suki okay let's go oh. No punish on the 2 HS right there. Oh my god. Player on point with the 6P anti-airs. This has been really working in its favor right there. 
And on, yeah, and just like this, we're on set point. No punish on the bandit revolver, unfortunately. And she gets to S counter hit on wake up. This is must hurt so much. Again, the 6 p.m. <laughs> the side switch, and he still manages to get a conversion off of it. Here we go again. The fake out for the throw. Perfect. This is okay. Here we go. On to the next battle is going to be Kohide against Kakiru Togo. This is going to be a pretty violent match, I reckon, because both players are extremely aggressive. So yeah, definitely good stuff coming out, I am sure. Here we go, the juggle from Kakiru Togo just using the close S. Couldn't quite get the per conversion on the uh, far HS right there in the corner. Okay, here we go, yeah. Oh, and Koi did not afraid to just dash and grab, man. Here we go, the fake grab loop from Kohide. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Kakiru Togo-san worried that Kohide was probably going to use this, Ventania. <laughs> That's why he bursted so uh, so uh, so early on. Okay, here we go. Is Kohide going to try to bait anything? Okay, Forest, Forest. Not. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, and gets it still by Ventania. Okay, the big... Oh, okay, and Kohide just holding on to his burst. Okay. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Probably wanted it for this round here. Wasn't quite confident in uh, taking it back. Or was probably afraid of getting baited, I think, from Kagusa. Anyways, we go. Very nice stuff from Kohide. Okay, here we go. The pressure is real. Definitely alternating between... Oh, and the... Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go. Yeah, here... Kagusa health hanging by a thread right here. If she brings it back, it's gonna be pretty hype. Okay, here we go, the 2S to check any attempt of Ko Kohide to try to... Oh, and the Rob does, this is gonna do a ton of damage. Yeah, Kohide is gonna... Burst? No burst, okay. Oh! <laughs> Aerial Overdrive for the win. Nice stuff from Kohide. And just like this, we are on final match. Very violent match, I told you guys. I told you guys already. Here we go, and the Schmixes. Yeah, the cross-up pressure was real. And here we go, the clash on the two, uh, on the lows, but still it is Kohide that finds the opponent first. He's gonna get the Vantania right there, or not, actually. Resorts to using the uh, Nasante instead, and just like this, this is gonna do very nice stuff from Kohide. Extremely, um, very, very, um, decisive, very, very, uh, how, how would I say this? Yeah, decisive, extremely, uh, Remarkable pressure, I would say. Anyways, here we go. Kohide still start, just yeah, starts the match. Just dash straight and just applying pressure, just as you should as a Giovanna player. Here we go. The tr the thrill loops are definitely there. Never let a Giovanna player tell you otherwise. This mix is definitely still legit. It's just a little bit more reactable now than it was before. Okay, here we go to far HS. It's definitely doing the work, but unfortunately, Kakuyu-san gets punished from it. This is unfortunate for him. We did takes the second, the uh, the the second round of the the first round of the second match. Oh, okay, here we go. Kakuyu-san, you starting to use the two S to try to check advancements. Good night, Kainsa. Ah, arigatou gozaimasu, Shihoi-san. Yokoso. Okay, here we go. At the whiff. On the DP, accordingly punished by Koide by a grab right there. Oh, and the DP, bur uh, the DP whiff again, punished by Koide and forces the burst right there. Okay, the very weak, quick recovery from the Nasa to it so that Kagiyosan had a problem to punish it. But here we go, the loops from Koide are real, man. The ca the the combo knowledge are definitely, uh, definitely there. Okay, but Kagiyosan definitely still not out of it. Oh no, Kohide definitely very, very solid right there, not letting it up, uh, not letting his defense down, definitely just continuing to block as he should. Very nice stuff from Kohide-san. <clears throat> okay, here we go, next up. Okay, the run-ups, uh, how do you say? Yeah, the run-up grab, basically. Good stuff from him. Get the pressure is real again, resorts to using the grab. Yeah, lows, grabs, you have everything, man. Oh, and a very nice 6P right there, seeing that Kakiru-san is starting to get a little bit annoyed by having to block so freaking much. Very nice Vantania right there into uh, into hard knockdown. Oh, a big statement right there from Kakiru-san. Just wake up, DP. You are not going to pressure me forever. I promise you. Oh, very nice use of the 5K in the block string to open 
Go hit it up. Here we go. The big close ass. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, and the wake up. Yeah. And you get hit. Good stuff from Kohide. Nice awareness. Seeing that Kakiri san was a little bit too thirsty right here. Yeah, I said, nope, I'm gonna wake up with Vantania. Definitely not letting you any type of momentum ship. Oh, okay, very nice pressure, man. Yeah, Kohide just being so un un unpredictable, man. And here we go. This time around, he goes for the grab. Yeah, Kakiri san yeah, in and out of his head right now. Just... Oh, yeah. Doing such a good job of. Hmm. Hmm. Here we go and the grab into the into the win. Good stuff from Kohide san. Wow. Hatake san against player. Both players are specialists of their own characters. With uh, player san probably grinding a tiny bit more than Hatake. But still, still, we never know, we never know. You know, there is also the um, not only character uh, matchups, but there are also player matchups. Some players tend to like playing against certain players better than others, and vice versa, so it's definitely not set in stone. Oh, there we go, close S, close S from Hatake. Finally finds an opening. Oh, get the empty low. This definitely hit the mark. He's gonna use the overdrive to get the wall break. Nice stuff from him. Mm -mm. For now, the pressure is entirely in Hatake-san's favor. He's even going to get the conversion and just like this i think he got the first round with a perfect damn a strong statement from Hatake, man good stuff from him okay here we go let's see if player will uh ad adjust to the pressure very nice oh oh and okay just run up and 6p man this was oh and oh, my lord the punish on the dp man and just like this overdrive this was crazy this iterate, this is going in the highlight. This is definitely going in the highlight. Good stuff from Hatake. Good stuff, definitely. Okay, here we go. Fafnir and run up grab from player. Definitely not seeing his last words. Okay, here we go. The sledge for the opening. Okay, you can see yeah, Hatake definitely fishing for the DP. He can smell it. He definitely wants it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, not overextending. This is what I really like about Hatake. He's definitely not overextending. Just, you know, doing just what he needs to do. Doesn't need to overextend. Okay, here we go. The pressure is real. Bended bringer. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Careful. You get open. Oh, my lord. Uh, this is death, actually. Yeah, this is death. Oh, lord. That was crazy. Good stuff from player. Just brings it back, man. That was so in favor of Hatake at the beginning, but yeah, the player just holding to his guns, definitely not overextending, and here we go, punish on the 6P with the 4S, man. Good stuff from him. Okay, very nice cheeky 2S into the 2D right there from Hatake. And the Bandit Bringer and the DP, man. Yeah, it's still not your turn because you jumped. And the Bandit Bringer, okay, the 4S far enough to catch player out of the air he's not gonna get the uh, the heavy knockdown hard knockdown unfortunately get okay, the sledge trying to really catch his opponent on his way down but couldn't really quite make it oh and the dp grab for the and again a dp from player definitely not afraid to let it rip man good stuff from him he takes the first match right here that was really but still that that was actually extremely uh close that was way closer than what i would have ever uh imagined and very nice stuff from hatake okay manages to find the opening oh and just a very deep deep run into the grab oh again the six speed definitely just checking Hatake out, definitely not letting him, uh, like, letting him, like, um, letting any momentum shift go back to Hatake. Good stuff from player. Count to the second. Oh, and the big the round start with with a banded revolver right there. Okay, big gun flame. He's gonna get the conversion into the wall break. Here we go. Titan! Leave! Tyron Rave right there for you, Walrick. Let's see how player is going to go about his business and just run up and grab. Okay, this time around, was, it, this match was a lot more one-sided than the previous one. Let's see if Hatake is going to be to be, be able to compose himself and eventually uh, put one on the board. Hopefully he will. 
<clears throat> oh, the big vortex, no punish on it, unfortunately. Okay, goes for the cross up into the grab. Okay, wow, and player not afraid to just jump out of the pressure, man. Good stuff. No, okay, and just stand up. 5k, man. Nope, you're not going anywhere. And just, oh, the mixes are real, man. And yeah, this player not afraid to just jump. I didn't even know you could do this against, against Melia. I'm definitely going to use this from now on. I didn't know you could jump and, and just get out of your pressure. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, there we go. The bandit revolver into the jump. Run deep into the grab, man. Not afraid, yeah. Yeah, Hatake definitely needs to compose himself right now. Very nice MT low. He was able to open player up. Oh, and the cross up for the mixes. Here we go. How is this going to work? I do not know. Hatake just resorting to use every single mixes in the book. Did he get hit? He didn't. Nice stuff. And oh, and couldn't quite get the punish, but it's still okay. It's not over. Okay, and you can see player yeah, trying to uh, to grab uh, to grab. Yume san out of the airs, but this time around, Yume was able to take it. Yeah, good stuff. Puts one on the board. Definitely not over till it's over. If you're able to take a, a match off of a player, you're already a pretty good player, I think. Okay, very nice check there from player. Definitely not willing to get jump on in whatever fashion by Hatake. Ooh, bad bandit bringer on. Well, good bandit bringer to punish the 6p attempt right there. Okay, this is gonna be oh and the raw dust for the win good stuff from player he comes with a statement of perfect you are not going to win this one this is what he's saying right now very big counter hit right there from hatake he's probably gonna oh or not but at least he got the oh and the dp man not free to let it rip and the oh my lord the close the four s counter hit this did a ton of damage man yeah here you go hatake needs to guess and this time around it's probably oh not not quite dead yet Okay, one last, one less chance. One less chance. Oh, yeah, very nice. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, very nice punish on the... Oh, he couldn't even get the follow-up. Good stuff. Oh, and the 2S for the win. Good stuff from player. This was so easy. He's Ioi against Pilo. Very... Well, I'm actually, I think both players more or less have the same uh, level so it's bound to be an interesting match only problem is that yeah if chip gets hits once it's it's gonna cost him a lot <laughs> okay here we go he's already uh, immediately resorts to the aerial routes in order to jump on pito and try to find an opening but just as i say this unfortunately Izayo is immediately sent into the corner and has to uh endure Ram's unreal, uh, unrelentless. This doesn't mean anything. Relentless pressure. Okay, here we go. Very nice. Oh, the, the pressure is real, man. Oh, but very nice golden burst right there from Izayo. He's able to... Yeah. Oh, and okay, okay. Why not? Why not? Izayo definitely not afraid of using this uh, overdrive. Well, especially if he has, like, additional bars to make it safe. Here we go. The pressure is real from Piro. I think this is going to be it. If he doesn't drop the combo, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Nice stuff from Pilo. Gets the first match. Oh, the first uh, round, actually. It's not the first match. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The Izayo special just run up and grab. Very nice stuff from him. He oh, okay. He managed to get... The oh, this is unfortunate for him. He managed to get the 2S counter hit, but uh, due to the recovery frame, uh, due to the hit stun, he wasn't able to, uh, to, to, well, to get the, um, the command grab right after it. Okay, well, just like this, like, uh, Izayo is definitely on his way to take the second round let's see how it goes oh and the two the jumping to the for the win nice stuff from Isaiah Lee. on to the final round who is going to take it again jumping to the for the not to to the jumping 2k for uh the opening oh and just like this thanks to the juggle and the explosion of the swords uh Pito was able to juggle actually with it but yeah, but the pressure from Izayo is definitely real. He manages to find his way in with the overhead. Even gets a wall break thanks to it. He's gonna get the positive bonus. The positive, the po the positive bonus, the positive bonus. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh, and very nice charge dust right there. He's gonna get the kill. Dai Shokun. <laughs> Good stuff from Izayo. Gets the first match. Very strong uh, performance from him. Actually, this is. Uh, Quite the statement, if I have to say. Okay, on to the second match. 
the early start from Mizawa yet again tries to find the opening by jumping. Okay, nice attempt from uh, Pilo to try to 6p him, but Mizawa is actually aware of it and resorts to guard uh, to uh, jump guarding. Oh, and this uh, again the uh, unfortunately the command grab doesn't find its mark due to hit stun, but still uh, he gets a very decent combo. Oh, and okay, just run up gold burst. This was actually pretty, uh, pretty cheeky of him. He definitely wants his, his gold burst, doesn't he? Okay, here you go. Very nice 2k to 2d. Oh, okay, the 3s. Yes, of course, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Chip has three jumps. If you see him jump twice, it doesn't mean that he's going to land right after. You need to be careful. Okay, just like this, he's already looking very good on the verge of taking the second match. Ooh, the pressure is real with the Gamma. Oh, yeah, Pito definitely had to burst right there, or else he would have taken endless pressure. Okay, and, oh, this is a... Yeah, this was probably a, a, a field uh, confirm right there from Izawi, but very nice backdash into the uh, the close S from Pito. He, he managed to actually punish the, over the, 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 the command grab. Good stuff, and again, the... Alpha Blade for the win. Very nice stuff from Izayo. He takes the second match as well. Pito is on the verge of getting eliminated from the tournament. He needs to find a way to reverse the momentum right now. Look, and just the standing K for the opening. Oh, and the air to air, man. And the conversion from Izayo. Very nice stuff. Looks crazy. Oh, and the big 2 inches counter hit. In your teeth. And again, yeah, he's gonna get the conversion. Good stuff from him. He even got the follow up Alpha Blade into the into the mix up. Is he gonna get the wall break? Is he gonna? Yeah, a little bit too far. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And this time around, he manages to uh, to get the command grab. Good stuff from him. On to set points. Is he Zayo going to take it, or is Pito going to find a uh, way to reverse the momentum? Okay, uh, Pito definitely. Playing a little bit more conservatively now. Oh, here we go, the Alpha Blade. Oh, okay, finally forced Pito to burst, and then again, Izayo just, just knowing when his opponent wants to jump out, man. And here he goes for the reset, and this is gonna do it. That was beautiful, Izayo takes it 3 2 0. Extremely strong performance. And Hakuman escape. <clears throat> here we go. Yeah, I, I need to remember to ask them to wait. Anyways, here we go. We did it. Here we go. Here we go. So the next match will be Serorides against Hakuman SK. Here we go. Okay, so they're letting the intro rip, and this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I <love it. laughs> Here we go, heaven or hell. Chaos definitely has, like, he's a pretty cool character, I have to say. And Serides making his opening with Chaos right away is going to bring Hakuman in the corner and get the wall break. A lot of damage, man. Yeah, you wouldn't think, but uh, Baikin definitely doesn't have the largest health pool in the game at all. Here we go, Serolides just really trying to curse his opponent. No! Did he open up? No, he didn't. Yeah, you need to hold on, you need to hold on. You can't attack him while he's in the state. And oh yeah, Serolides didn't use the overdrive right there, probably by... Izayoi uh... san, Oh, here we go, and just walk up and grab. Perfect. This is definitely the Kai. The Kai part of uh, of Serui Des that <laughs> that that showed out right now. Oh, here we go. The 2D counter hit right at the start of the yeah, of the match. And Hakuman yeah, in Dire Straits right there. He has to. He needs to find an, op uh, an opening. Chaos English voice also good. Yeah, it is actually pretty good. But I prefer the Japanese voice to be honest. His Japanese voice is more like closer to what the character actually uh, you know represents. I think. Kimi wa shiaku ni nareru ka. Okay, anyways, here we go. And yeah, Hakuman just really, yeah, th this was hard. This was definitely hard. Good stuff from Celorides. He got the first match right there. Extremely convincing performance from him. Ah, 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 
Ah, ah, ah. I think we're gonna see a Giovanna. <laughs> I think we're gonna see a Giovanna. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Hakuman's main is in Baikin. It's Giovanna. So let's see how Gio... Ah, but wait. Ah, okay, okay. I was afraid that uh, Sidori was going to change. He doesn't... He can't change. You can only change when you lose the match. This is the only time you can change. Okay, on to uh, the following match, I think. Both players are ready. Hi, it's the Madaiba Des. Okay, we're good. So this Samurai, yeah, Hakuman just took his Giovanna out for a spin. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Hakuman is a Giovanna main, you have to keep this in mind. Baiken is actually, well, he is trying to main Baiken as well, but definitely has more character knowledge with Giovanna. Hands down, and oh yeah, you still... Ah! Uh, oh, very nice 2D right there from Sidori. Catches the uh, the dash attempts from Hakuma. And again, the 2K into 2D. Very nice stuff from uh, Sidori. Definitely on point with his uh, punish game right there. Is he gonna keep the wall splat? Yeah, he decides to keep the wall splat. Ah, uh, and again, the wall splat. Yeah, if he gets open once more, it's over. Yeah, very nice stuff from Sidori. That's very convincing, man. Extremely convincing. Hmm. Okay, let's see if Hakuman is going to adjust and find... Yeah, here we go. Finally finds an opening. And Hasilui definitely not afraid to just backdash out of the pressure. Good stuff. Oh, oof. Okay, here we go. The clone got sent out of this world very quickly, but this enables Hasilui to actually get an opening. Definitely has the life lead right there. Very nice use of the clone to really keep Hakuman out right there. And Hakuman definitely desperate to like try to get any sort of momentum going and this oh he was unfortunately not able to get the uh follow-up and the juggle and just like this silly takes the second match as well. Hakuman on his last leg right now, he definitely needs to find a way to shift the momentum in order to uh at least at least take one match in order to uh you know get some confidence up a bit. Oh, indeed, 6P right away from Silly, definitely sniffing that Hakuma was a little bit desperate to get in. Okay, here we go, finally Hakuma gets something going, and just like this, he gets bursted on. Oh! And here we go, the pressure in the corner is definitely real. Ah, and the run up to grab, Silly is definitely feeling himself right now, we even got the entire... And here you go, D. Wall break. He didn't have an uh, attention to do anything to to get the, um, the the hard knockdown though, unfortunately. And very nice with punish from from Sirides. And oh, even Hakuman could gets grabbed on his way down to the floor to the ground. This is unfortunate for him. Just like this, we are at set point two zero as of now. Ah, finally here you go. Hakuman got something going. You definitely don't want to. Gets a, oh, and Silly gets the grab. This is so unfortunate for Hakuma. And here we go. Silly using the overdrive to get the hard knockdown. Ah, the curse is coming. And the clones, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Hakuma, Hakuma on his last legs. And he runs straight in a bullet. This is unfortunate for Hakuma. Okay, against Izayoi. Both are mixed types of characters, extremely quick characters. <laughs> I think uh, the name of the game of this particular game is going to be the first one to get caught is the one who dies, I think. <laughs> Especially since both players, not players, but characters have very few health. Here we go, and Hatake just... Oh, with a statement right there, definitely reading the backdash from Izayo and even proceeding to doing a, a side switch right there. That was pretty crazy from him. We go to Sukiyaki for the pressure. <laughs> this is gonna be... You're gonna see both characters in the air extremely often, I think. Oh, he couldn't get the follow-up this time for but very nice 6P right there from uh, from Hatake. Resorts to using the fake cross-up right there. This was so cheeky. Good stuff from Hatake. Gets the first map, the first uh, round. <clears throat> okay, air nice air tier from Izayu. Definitely on point on this... Uh, well, on this uh, front, actually. Oh, okay, very nice air tier again from Hatake. Definitely... S Sniffing some things out. Nice cross up. 
Here we go, he's IOE. Applying pressure right there, he's gonna get the wall break. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Hatake on the... Ah, gets finally hit. Okay, here we go, he's definitely getting things... Okay, def oh, very nice alpha blade on the way cover. This was so tricky. I, you get hit by this. You don't have, <laughs> you don't have any other choice than get hit by this. Definitely. Okay, good stuff from Izayoi. Definitely bringing it back right there. Okay, here we go. Fake cross up again. Yeah. Hey, you good? Take what? <laughs> Sorry, my Google is uh is is against calling me. Again, here we go. Hatake is gonna get the overdrive. Very nice stuff from him. The boom! Hard knockdown right away. Oh, and the wake up, the wake up DP from Izayo was crazy. Good stuff from him. He's gonna get the wall break. Okay, both opponents definitely in the air. Okay, oh, and the Hail Mary from Hatake right there. Don't really know if I agree with it, but it's still okay. It, it, it didn't like didn't kill him so oh here we go okay very nice YRC right there really didn't have any choice right there or else uh Izari definitely would have taken some part of the momentum back just like this Hatake takes the first match let's see if we're going to see any adaptation from Izayoi good first uh match from uh from Hatake definitely okay on to the second match let's see how it goes Oh, and the gold burst, immediate gold burst from Izayoi. Okay, here we go. Oh, Roman Kessler, he went for the probably the, the fully charged Rome, uh, dust as he as he is so uh, as he has so often used during this tournament. Very nice DP right there. Oh, and <laughs> here you go, Hatake with a gold burst of his own. Very nice run up grab from Hatake. On with the schmixes, but very nice defense from uh, from Izayoi. Here we go, Roman cancel A2, B, not even the wall break, just managed to get the win right here. Very nice stuff. And here we go, just like this, Hatake is applying the pressure. He's going left, right, left, right. Good grab. Finally forces Izayo to use his burst. Roman cancel into yet again the win. Very convincing performance from Hatake gets the second match as well. Let's see if Izayo can bring any sort of adjustments to his gameplay right now, or else he is going to be out of this tournament. Early burst from Izayo. Oh, and this time around, yeah, Izayo was still in his uh, in his uh, recovery frames, so he couldn't get. Uh, Rowan, unfortunately. Very nice conversion from Izayo. Oh, he almost got the, the end juggle with the Alpha Blade. Okay, on with the wall break. But it's still a soft knockdown, so it's okay for Hatake to. The neutral is reset basically. Boom! Here you go. YRC, get off of me! Very nice juggle, he goes for the cross-up again. This time around, Izayu is definitely ready to block. But... Uh, full conversion from Hatake and gets the wall break. Very nicely done. And just like this, we are on match point. <clears throat> Run up, close S from Hatake. Very nice back dash right there to punish the... Throw attempt from Hatake. So what is Izayo going to do right now? Very nice air to air. Forces the burst of Hatake. Okay, here we go, Sukiyaki. He's definitely gonna get the wall break. Wow, the big close S as an entire right there from Izayo. Finally showing some momentum recuperation right there uh uh the double overhead man the defense is real the mixes are real uh, and the cross up this time around hatake is so cheeky he goes for the fake cross up 
Damn, if you thought that Melia hadn't any mixes, you are wrong. And just like this, Hatake takes it extremely convincingly. 3-2-0, man. Very, very This His happy chaos is definitely tight. Very, very tight. The pressure is definitely real with him. Let's see if togo san is going to have an answer to this pressure or if inversely uh Tenori is going to have problems dealing with the pressure of kakiyo san which is perfectly possible as well okay we Ooh. yeah as soon as kakiyo san saw the uh the the, um, the mato how do you say mato the target man he immediately stopped doing anything he was doing okay here we go he got curse he needs to respect a little bit the pressure right there Ah, here we go, the pressure is real. Very nice grab from Serori. Has Kakiru where he wants it, but Kakiru definitely won't take any more than necessary. Oh, very nice far slash, far heavy slash right there from Kakiru. He's gonna... Oh, and she drops her DP. This is really unfortunate. Oh, and gets hit out of the air. And just like this, Serori Des takes the first round. Let's see if there's going to be any sort of adjustment from Kakiru. A very nice forest right there from Kagedo san He's gonna get the Fafnir into a full combo. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Fafnir for the wall break. Again, Fafnir trying to catch the Bagdash probably. Oh, this was yeah, this was pretty uh This was pretty confusing. Finally gets the burst. Unfortunately doesn't use his tension to make his uh, vortex safe. This is really unfortunate. Oh, I don't think he got it. Yeah, he definitely did. But still, he has meter to make it safe. Kakiyo san, he... <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Even if he didn't get the uh, cemetery mob, it doesn't matter. He was able to make it safe and punish entire Serori Death into a death combo. Good stuff. Oh, very nice start of the round before uh, the 6th uh, HS, I believe this is. Oh, okay, and wake up dust. Okay, he's going for the... Oh no, he went for the grab, but unfortunately it was a little bit too early on his uh, on his throw attempt. Oh, okay, very nice damage right there from Kagedo. The schmixes are real, very nice, going for the legs. And okay, so you're aware that, yeah, you can punish the dust and just w <laughs> wakes up and wakes up to the... Oh, is this going to do? This is going to be it? No, unfortunately, so he couldn't quite seal the deal but now uh, resor resorts to sealing it very nice stuff from so he takes the first match let's see how things unfold <clears throat> okay here we go Takiro san is cursed oh and the big 6 h is counter hit right there oh okay here we go he went for the dust of early was a little bit too far couldn't quite get it to connect but here we go, Kakiru san is finally in. Okay, very nice standing K right there. As an entire, wasn't quite able to catch his opponent. Not guarding, but still he got the conversion. This is going to be death, yeah. Very nice stuff from Kakiru san Very healthy damage right there. If there's anything as healthy damage. But you see, you catch the drift. Anyways, here we go. Very big 6 HS counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. He drops the combo. This is unfortunately forces his Sui san forces the burst right there. Oh, here we go. He is cursed. This is... Oh, and the big 4S counter hit. Here we go to Fafnir. <laughs> My lord. Three Fafnir in a row, man. You are not pressing a button here. Oh, and the MT low. This was... Oh, nope. A little bit too late. Okay, good stuff from Celorides. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, can you understand? You're getting a little bit too impatient. Too impatient. Too impatient. You need to lay low. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, Cybercats. I'm on your stream. Very nice for HS right there. Thanks to this, Kakiru san was able to take the win. Good stuff. <laughs> La forme Cybercat, j'espère que toi aussi, gros. Bienvenue sur le combo, Okay, we're going to the third match. Again, an attempt to do the, to use the 6 HS to catch any attempt of pressing buttons from Seroides. Oh, and wake up DP fall accordingly read by Seroides. Even gets the wall not the wall the side switch he even he is even going to get the overdrive into a hard knockdown this is going to do a lot of damage actually good stuff from siloides okay here we go yeah back to snipe mode 
Oh, and the bag dash into the grab. Man, that was so cheeky. Good stuff from Silly is going to get the win right there. Okay, he gets the first round. Let's see how things will unfold later on. Okay, again, an attempt from 6 h chasing whatever button Silly might have pressed. Uh, a little bit too late on his attempt to punish him, drawing his, uh, his, uh, his gun out. Ah, here we go yet again, the overdrive. On soutient les bros, ça fait plaisir. Merci Cybercat, tu fais vraiment plaisir. Merci beaucoup. Okay, here we go, the 2K into the 2D into the rest of the combo. Here we go, the wall splat is real. Saved by the burst, if I might say, but this is going to spell death for... Kakiru-san, unfortunately, no, Siloy didn't use his overdrive right here. This is unfortunate. Oh, and you definitely don't want to leave to let Kakiru-san alive, man. Oh, and just jump. D, I believe this is. Takes the win for Serori. 2 to 1 is Kakiru Togo-san going to adjust. Let's see. Oh, again, the 6HS. Yeah, Serori definitely read this one. It's been the third time that Kakiru-san uh, started the round with it, so it's only normal. Here we go, Kakiru is cursed, he needs to hold it. Ah, again, yeah, Kakiru-san definitely, like, yeah, definitely getting impatient right there. Ah, and the 6P, man! The 6P was so intelligent, so he definitely saw that uh, Kakiru-san was using a lot his, six, his, his, uh, his, um, his far S to uh, try to, you know, catch um, attempts of Sayori to get in. And just silly, just realized it and use 6 speed to punish him. Very nice stuff. Okay, here we go. Back in the neutral. Big banded revolver right there from Kakeru san. Okay, it's not over till it's over. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Gotaku wa irane! Here we go, the hard knockdown. What is Sayori going to do? Nice. Oh, and again, the bag dash into the throw. This has been doing a lot of work, man. Okay, here we go. Kakiru-san holding on to his burst. He definitely will need it. Okay, what is going to happen? Ah, yeah. Here we go. Playing the game that Kakiru doesn't like. Ah, unfortunately. Ooh, and the banded revolver for the Chiku and good stuff for Kakiusan. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any burst for this round, so it's really going to... Oh, very nice banded bringer to go over any attempt of Senori to try to... To, uh, well, to, to meet him or to jump on him, basically. Okay, here we go. Oh, very nice block from Kakiusan. Here we go to Fafnir. Things are looking actually pretty good for him. Oh, and big 5H. There's on the vertex a little bit too late to come for the... For the health. For the help. Okay, here we go back to. Oh, very nice punish on the 6 HS right there. And just like this, Kakiru san puts one on the board again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a match. Good stuff. Good stuff from Kakiru san. Okay, on to the final match of this set. Let's see how it goes. It's probably the closest set we've had all night. Most matches have been 3 0 or something, so. Okay, very nice punish right there on the Bandit Burger from Serori. And back to sniping mode. Very nice cross up right there. He even got Kakiru in the corner. And here we go with the wall splat, man. Yeah, Kakiru san definitely needs to hold this. Nice use of the wall splat, really, by Serori. This couldn't quite get this one. No, oh, and the vortex. The vo raw vortex right there for the opening. Oh la la la, boucle. T'as vu? Il a kiffé. Ou pas. Oh, and the bandit revolver. The bandit revolver. Roman Castle was sick, but unfortunately, Kakiru san gets jumped on and comboed on and eventually gets killed. This is unfortunate. Oh, get a big vortex to catch the bag dash. This is gonna hurt. But yeah, this is gonna hurt. And oh, and again, the bag dash into the grab has been doing freaking wonders for. Her. Silly this, it's been working so much in his favor. Again, the backdash, man. <gasps> and just like this, man. That was so crazy. Good stuff from Kakiru-san. Here we go on to the final round of the final match, man. Oh, here we go. It's only not ready to get... Oh, my lord. Kakiru-san is gonna do it. Oh, and the big 2S, and the big 4S counter hit. Okay, if he wants to get back some momentum, this is the time, man. 
Oh, and the cross up again. Whew. Okay, here we go. No punish on the. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Kakusan getting a little bit impatient right there. Oh, and the wake up. No. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Kakusan takes it by the skin. Much longer time though. But uh, he also rocks a pretty good Melia. So this is uh, definitely a match I am uh, looking forward to watch, actually, since uh, both players are two players that I absolutely adore, to be honest. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, here we go, Duck. 5k to catch Melia out of the air right there. Okay, both opponents feeling themselves out a bit. Oh, here we go, the Sledge gets caught by the, uh, by the um, gun flame right there. Here we go, yeah, Hatage has to take the pressure right there, but manages to switch sides, actually, and provoke the uh, burst from Kakeru Togo. Here we go, the bad of Fafnir catches an attempt of probably Hatage pressing buttons or something. Anyways, very nice stuff from Kakeru, from, uh, yeah, from Kakeru-san. Okay, first round goes to Kakeru. Let's see, oh, if there's gonna be an adjustment from Hatake, this is gonna be a big damage right there. He didn't get the wall break, unfortunately. Very nice jump back into the... Uh, I do believe it's the, uh, the S. Very nice blocks from Kagu. Eventually gets open thanks to the, uh, to the grab. Here you go. Oh, Hatake going for, for the mixes, man. Definitely going for the schmixes. Oh, he couldn't get the overdrive. This is unfortunate. Oh, okay, here we go. Air to air. kagu san catches. Hatake jumping and Hatake doesn't use... Ah, he didn't have a um, tension bar to actually room and cancel. This is unfortunate, but still takes, manages to take the second round. Let's see how the final round will play. Okay, finally, early burst from Hatake. Definitely needed it to get Kakeru-san off of his back, but Kakeru-san is definitely, definitely relentless. He doesn't want to uh, get off your back. So, oh, and the, I do believe this was a standing K from Kakeru-san. Manages to entire... Hatake-san out of the air and take the first match. How will things unfold? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Both players feeling things out right there. A very nice jumping S counter hit. Unfortunately, couldn't convert. And due to the lack of conversion, was a little bit probably surprising. Got hit by Kakeru on wake up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, definitely. Hatake wants to get out of the corner, but Kakeru probably smells it and just utilizes like uh you know uh moves to try to asset west you try to you merci ff said remake okay here we go it's not over till it's over hatake definitely has a chance to bring things back okay here we go yeah but yeah hatake has problems getting in man he doesn't but oh okay here we go. Oh, almost got there but kakeru read the uh, grab attempt and just really uh, res uh it, um, just uh, resorted to Bagdash. Very nice decision from him. He's gonna get the bended revolver into the Roman cancel into Volcanic Viper. And here we go. Kakeru puts one more on the board. 2 2 0. Is Hatake going to be able to bring things back? Ah, uh, Emilia, mon poteau. Okay, very nice blocks from Kakeru, but eventually gets open right there. Very nice empty jump into the grab right there. Yeah, Hatake definitely wary of Kakeru trying to uh, to wake up DP. Wow, the big air-to-air -air counter hit. Oh, wait, the, uh, the S, the jumping S right there. Okay, here we go, the sledge. Into the overhead, into the uh, Love Me Tender. <laughs> I forgot how it's called. It's not the Love Me Tender, it's the... Uh, anyways, the, the, the pikes. <laughs> it's not called. And there's a early burst, finally burst, finally Hatake forced to burst in order to stay alive. Again, he goes for several overheads and Kakeru is definitely aware of it and uses the standing K. Okay, here we go, Kakeru san staying strong but finally gets open again by a grab. Okay, on two, finally Hatake puts one, one round on the board but gets immediately entired by the close S from Kakeru san. That was a big, big, big close S by the way. Wow. There we go, yeah. Hatake. Hatake. Hatake, do your best. Hatake san. Okay, very nice empty jump into the grab yet again. Okay, very nice cross up this time around. Hatake definitely on point with his mix. Looking pretty good right now. Again the grab. 
as long as it works, why would you stop? And unfortunately, his charged dust gets punished accordingly by Kakeru-san with a full punish. This is going to do a lot of damage. Okay, Kakeru didn't have the bar to do an overdrive, unfortunately. Oh, okay, here we go. Bandit revolver forces the burst from Hatake. Ah, la punition est réelle. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, I was on the verge of winning, but yeah, the save by the burst by Kakeru Togo right there. And here we go, the jump in with HS for the win. Hatake san showing signs of life right there, takes one, puts one on the board actually. Very good stuff from him. Okay, on to the next match. A very big 6P right there from Hatake. But immediately responded accordingly to by a Vortex counter hit. Okay, Kaiju san definitely feeling himself with the Vortex right there. Here we go, big Fafnir right there. Again, Vortex, man. Okay, here we go, this is gonna be death right there. And just like this, we are on set point yet again, I think. Oh, actually, it wasn't set point just before. Big Bandit Revolver right there. And boom! Just like this, he gets the wall break. Oh, the big TP right there to try to definitely enter Hataki. He was definitely confident, but unfortunately, Hataki definitely just, yeah, just, just blocked. Here we go, the overdrive for the, uh, for the heavy knockdown. Good stuff from Hataki. Uh, oh, and still he used the HC, the moment cancel, and to see what Hatake was up to, but still just ended up getting grabbed. This is unfortunate for Hatake, for, for Kakeru Tokosa. Okay, on to the uh, final round of this set. If Hatake loses it, he is out of the tournament. Ah, the big DP right there from Kakeru san. Definitely not afraid of using it, man. And here we go, the schmixes are real. Hatake definitely doesn't want to be eliminated. Here we go, the close S into aerial combo. This is gonna be good. Oh, the DP call out right there. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Overdrive by Hatake is gonna get the hard knockdown. If Kagiru san fails to block the following combo. Okay, he actually did manage. Thank you very much, the 5k. Ooh, the cell, oh, the standing as the close S for the win by Hatake. This is clutch. Well played by Hatake-san. We are going on to the final match of this set right here. This is freaking, this is freaking hype, man. Really, really like it. Okay, here you go. Oh, early burst by Kakeru-san. Doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Okay, here we go. Big DP. Wake up from Kakeru-san. And again, the 6P entire for the win and the conversion. Ah, oh, this was big. This was big. This is death. This is death. This is death. Titan Rave! Yeah, as expected, this is death. On to match point. What is Hatake gonna do? He needs this if he wants to stay alive. Ooh, the con yeah, the contest from uh, from Hatake. Not afraid of pressing buttons. Oh, and the big dust from Kakeru-san. The aerial dust. Okay, the empty low for the opening. Hatake-san looking good. We're gonna get the wall break, but unfortunately, it's not a hard knockdown. In the 6 HS for the opening, man. Oh, that mix. Oh, that schmix. That was pretty nice. Good stuff from Hatake. Definitely not afraid. Oh, is he gonna get it? Okay, he got the cross up, but. Oh, that conversion. Good stuff from Hatake. That was crazy. Good stuff. And on to the final round of the final match. This is so freaking clutch. Oh, the big yellow burst from Kakiru san. This is gonna hurt, man. Oh, and the gold burst from Hatake! What the hell? What's going on? What's going on? Neither characters have burst anymore. The one who gets open is gonna... And more... Oh, more likely Hatake though, if he gets open... Oh, here we go. Use their yellow room and cancel to... Get out of the pressure. Oh, the fake cross up. Oh, and the schmixes are real. Hatake not afraid to get in, man. And the... Oh, the cross up for the opening is Kakeru Togo-san gonna get open and for grab. I think he could've finished it there. Oh, and Kagusan, not over. Not over until it's over. Oh, the big close S. This is so clutch. This is so clutch. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that was crazy.
Okay, anyways, moving on to the winner's final is going to be Kohide Geo against Player Saul. A very, very anticipated match, I have to say. I've been playing, I've played against both players, and I have to say both are extremely good. Extremely good player, very, very uh, aggressive style, very, uh, very optimized in every possible shape and form. So, oh, okay, just walk up and throw. <laughs> good stuff from you. That was pretty nice. Yeah, sometimes the best mixes is the easiest mixes. Here we go, three, <laughs> three grabs in a row. Very nice stuff from Kohide. I think that Kohide probably knows uh, the place to have a player, actually. They probably played a lot together. Here we go, he's gonna get the to the uh, wall break right there. Good stuff from Kohide. Oh, and the whiff punish on the 6P. Very nicely done from Kohide. Takes the first round. Oh, and the big opening counter hit for a full combo. Unfortunately, he wasn't quite capable of converting, of uh, of uh, connecting the uh, standing, the, the far S, unfortunately, but it's still okay. He got the wall break. He got the grab. He's gonna get the Save jump and well, okay, player definitely not dead till it's dead. And, oh, I think he pressed a button. Yeah, good stuff from Kohide. Puts one on the board already. Uh, this is a uh, unusual to see player actually struggle against somebody. This is fairly unusual. Okay, first match goes to Kohide. Let's see how the rest goes. This player going to find some sort of adjustment. Oh, well, here we go, far S, far S for the pressure, but Kohide definitely not stranger to how to deal with this type of pressure. He immediately uses the 6 k and punishes accordingly. Here we go, Bandit Revolver for the follow-up. And here we go, just, just, just do it. <laughs> just dash into uh, far S, very nicely done from Kohide. You got a, you got a very nice uh, onslaught, but yeah, unfortunately the player was able to turn it around um, like very discreetly, actually. Okay, on to the next round. Here we go, Bandit Revolver player uh, pushing his opponent ever so slightly in the corner. But Koi did not hearing, not taking any of it. Like, definitely not afraid to just just run straight and grab his opponent. Here we go, Fafnir. And player in the vicinity right there in Kohide's, uh, in Kohide's private areas right there. And uh, very nicely done by player gets the... Uh, the second match actually, one round apiece we have a match. Please let's play again one day, I would love the uh, the Happy Chaos experience. Yeah, definitely man, I think, yeah, Happy Chaos is definitely something else. Uh, how come on, you should watch Deb's uh, videos regarding how to deal with uh, with Happy Chaos. Once you you watch it, it's it's actually, it becomes a lot easier to to uh, to deal with. I can I can link it to you in the, in the, in the, uh, what's it called? In the chat, I'll send it to you actually. And here we go, early burst from Kohide manages to, uh, yeah, take his uh, opponent for a ride in the corner. Very nicely done. Here you go, uh, how come up? <clears throat> and here we go, closest, closest, closest from player. But yeah, Kohide not afraid to just let the DP rip, even though the DP. As I will remind you, doesn't have any in invincibility frames on it. Here we go, he gets the wall grab, the wall grab. <laughs> the wall... Eh? The wall... Damn it, how do you call it? Damn! What? I'm uh, Alzheimer. The wall break. God, God my, my lord. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tyrant Rave on block, unfortunate. Four players gonna get hit by players. Uh, by players uh, punish right there, and just like this, uh, by, by Kohide's, um, um, by Kohide's punish right there. This is two matches for Kohide against one for player. Player needs to win this one if he wants to stay alive. Okay, very nice air, uh, very nice trade right there for player. Fortunately for him, Kohide couldn't continue his onslaught. Oh, here we go, two S for the opening, and player definitely not. Ah, catching the back dash with his uh, with his close S right there, good stuff from him. And the five the five HS no the close uh, HS for the counter it for the win. Very nicely done by player, answering back in uh, in uh, adequate fashion actually, if I might say. Here we go the grab from Kohide gets all oh, gets counter hit in the air. Unfortunately for him, here we go far as far as 
for us again and Di Nasante to get out of the pressure down. Didn't even know you could use it like this. Good stuff from him. Oh, the far S. Uh, this is probably the far S. It was a far HS actually. Counter hit into wall uh, splat into overdrive. This, this, this did a ton of damage and the grab for the win. We are on match point. Set point actually. How is this going to rule? And here the quick opening from Kohide looking very good. Nice back dash from player was able to uh, punish Kohide's attempt to grab him. Okay, very nice jump. Literally just finished watching this. <laughs> okay, okay, this is good to know. It's the best guide, man, for uh, learning how to deal with uh, with the happy chaos. Yeah, it is, right? It is, it is. Okay, here we go. Player definitely not out of this yet. He got the grab. Okay, no wake up overdrive from from Kohide. God gets hit by the. Oh, and the grab from Kohide, definitely cheeky grab again, the grab, we're going in the grab loops, man, and again, he went for the grab, but this time around, player smelled it and just resorted to backdashing and grabbing him and giving him a taste of his own medicine, basically, very nicely done by player. Okay, on to the final match of this set, let's see how it goes. Oh, and the double dash into the grab by Kohide, not afraid to do this. Kohide is definitely uh, grab friendly. <laughs> he definitely likes to grab his opponent. But I think it's yeah, it's definitely part of the conditioning that uh, that uh, Geo has to force upon her opponent. Because if you don't grab, then your opponent just like blocks for days. I think yeah. Oh, that just block from Kohide into the the, the what's it called into the punish of the uh, the bended revolver. Very nicely done. There you go, for S, for S, and Kohida definitely, definitely ready to just finish this, like seriously, he goes right away with the gold burst, he wants to deal as much damage as possible. This is gonna be overdrive into big damage right there for Kohida, nicely done. How is player going to deal with this? Oh, and the big 2D counter hit. Good stuff from Kohide. Again, the 2D and the conversion, man. Uh, yeah, but player not dead. Tills oh, the fake into the command grab. That was crazy. Oh, nope, you're not coming to. Oh, and Kohide. Kohide pressing buttons, even though it wasn't this. Again, the name is uh, going a little bit foobar. Let me solve this real quick. Here we go. Perfect. It's pretty good. So it's going to be player against uh, Hatake-san. Let's see how it goes. Unfortunately for Hatake-san, tu fais toujours un tournoi semaine. Oui, toujours, toujours, toujours. Toutes les semaines, je vais en faire. A very big 5k anti air right there to catch Hatake out of the air. Very nicely done by player. Oh, the big Fafnir in the face, man. Again, Fafnir. Yeah, you definitely do not want to backdash on this one, or you're gonna get hit. Okay, here we go. The Tyrant Rave. Ray for the win. Very nicely done by player. Very big start of the match. He starts with a perfect. Very nicely done by player. Okay, the big 6P on block, unfortunately for him. Okay, here we go. The oh, very nice base bird by Hatake. Good stuff. And here we go. The Schmixes is real. Nice Volcanic Viper right there from player. Couldn't get the hard knockdown though. Oh, okay, here we go. You got the Blendeville Revolver pushing ever so slightly. His opponent in the corner. Oh, that backdash was pretty crazy. Oh, and the Schmixes are real, and this is gonna do. Nicely done by player. Takes the first match pretty convincingly. Looking forward to see which Eno mod you do play. I actually, I won't be running mods, I think. I, well, I don't know, actually. I'll see. It depends if they're... they're Annoying to install or not. If not, then uh, uh, well, I'll see, I'll see, actually. But I I'm still gonna keep playing on PlayStation sometimes, I think. But most of the tournaments I'm gonna do is gonna be on, on Steam. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rock the, the tournaments on, on PlayStation on uh, on PC basically. Oh there we go. Ooh, the big call out on the air to air, very nicely done by player. Ah here we go. Ah that was a very nice close S. Install is really easy, just download and drag. Okay, I see. I see, I see. Yeah, well, maybe I'll install like mods and just so we can see the players with uh, special uh, special skins and stuff. Maybe I'll do it. Easy banana or something. Okay, got it. 
Okay, here we go. The onslaught is real. Player got the first round of the second match as well. Hatagi is in quite dire straits right there. He uh, is definitely fighting for his uh, for, for to stay alive. Basically, yeah. It's no easy feat to just stay alive from uh, from players on slot. Mod for connecting and ping would be godlike. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah, uh, doubt for connection and ping. Yeah, I agree, man. Hopefully they'll they'll uh, bring it in uh, uh, a later update of uh, of of the game. Hopefully, and just like this player takes the second match as well. Very nicely done. <clears throat> oh, okay. The air to air and the trade in favor of player, but still, Hataka definitely not afraid of to just run up straight and. Yeah, player is definitely uh, he's he's in trance right now. He, he didn't like being sent to losers by by Koji Daito. Very nice burst right there from player. Oh, and the six P right there, very nicely done. Oh, get over sure is Ria Hatake not uh, committing to further uh, offense right there. He probably wants to mitigate a bit, but yeah, unfortunately for him, player is definitely just dead set on trying to finish this match as quickly as possible. Very nicely. Uh, cross up very nicely read by player just jumps out of the uh, of the pressure and just like this we are on set point here we go bend it okay here we go DP for the momentum shift and just like this yeah just like this Melia lost 90 85% of her life about well, 75 probably yeah 75 damn the Damage is real, man. Wow, yeah, player definitely on a rampage, definitely on a statement. I do not want to lose. Oh, and the close S counter hit very nicely done by Hatake. This is the last, the last, your last chance, man. Very nice, uh, very nice overhead, right there. Well, very nice jump in from Hatake. Oh, okay, both opponents in the air. Oh, unfortunately, couldn't get. Oh, he got the punish. Oh, and the. Oh, okay, no wake up DP. This time around for player, he would have gotten uh, grabbed, anyways. Okay, Hatake still showing signs of of life right there. Very nicely done. Oh, and player just going straight after him. Okay, this time around, Hatake didn't go for the continuation of X-Combo because he wanted to bait the burst. And uh, unfortunately for him, player was aware of it and didn't burst. Here we go, the mixes are real. Hilo, Hilo. Ah, it got open right there. I think this, uh, this is... Oh, this is it. Damn, on the Fafnir, man. Fafnir did so much damage just like this forward to this match again this is the run back of uh of a player who has been sent to the losers bracket by kohide none other than kohide by the way so yeah definitely looking forward to this uh match today let's see how it goes <clears throat> okay early very early uh very early dash from kohide finds the opening on his opponent Okay, 2D for the spacing right there. Oh, and the grab attempt from Kohide, but unfortunately for him, player was already backdashed quite a lot. Okay, nice for player to catch the uh, backdash from Kohide. He didn't have any tension to get a hard knockdown though. Big 6 HS, stay down! <laughs> Big 6 HS right there to ask Kohide to just stay down and not move. Okay, here we go. Oh, and again, the fake into uh, command grab right there from Player it has been working wonders for him, by the way. Oh, here we go, Jamadea. So, like, uh, really wants his revenge against it. Oh, definitely. He speedrun the matchup against Billy. Oh, definitely, man. Okay, here we go. Grab attempts from Kohide. Very nice close S from Kohide. Manages to open his opening up. Oh, very nicely done by player. He actually confirmed that Kohide didn't use his burst prior to continuing his combo. This is actually pretty crazy. Oh, again, again, going with the burst base, right? Oh, oh the DP. Ah, okay, he's still... Okay, oh. Oh, the DP. Oh, and the two, wake up 2D for the win. Oh, he did. The cojones on this man. <laughs> Very nicely done. Damn, that was pretty crazy. Damn, it was really crazy. That end the sequence was really pretty crazy. Okay, here we go. The Fafnir unblock. Yeah, player definitely willing, definitely wanting this. Definitely wanting this, this match, man. Yeah, but Koi is a very, very, extremely solid man. Just catching every single backdash and even uh, baiting the, 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 the DPs, man. Yeah, Koi having none of this, man. Having none of this. 
We go Bandit Bringer. Oh, and just run up and grab for the win. Okay, again, run up and grab for the win by player. Oh, and catches his opponent this time around, pressing buttons. Oh, and he, the 2k for the win. Player takes the first match. Very nice start of the... It's actually very tight, but very nice uh, first match from, uh, from player. Definitely, like, trying to shape his playstyle around how Kohide... Well, plays himself and uh, yeah, just finding answers to uh, everything. Oh, and the early bad burst from player. Which for him, it wasn't a too bad of a too bad of a of a punish. Yeah, a few hits on the Giovanna, and he already got. Okay, he, he already. Oh, and the big Nasante right there. Very nice uh, counter hit. Even got the follow up combo follow up. Ooh, aerial overdrive for the punish right there. Good stuff from Kohide even gets the wall break. Oh, and the safe jump into aerial attack into 2D for the win, uh, two, 2K for the win. Very nicely done by Kohide. <laughs> he 6P, I 6P you. He 6P me, I 6P you. Very nicely done by player. Look at the damage, man. Already half of your life gone, man. Uh, very nice confirm on the counter hit by Kohide. Got a perfect combo to just bring his opponent in the corner. Okay, here we go. He got... The counter hit on his way down. Got the wall break. Okay, back to neutral. Oh, the big Fafnir. And again, the Nasante to punish the uh, far S, man. This has been working crazy well for Kohide. The double dash for in the grab for the win by Kohide. Takes the second match very convincingly. Very nicely done by Kohide. Okay, on to the next battle let's see how it works oh very nice oh my lord the dp just let it rip man okay kohida has been having a little bit more problem trying to anti-air uh, player than uh, vice versa okay here we go when the schmixes are real man no he catches kohida back dashing right there oh unfortunately was able to finish his, his uh, combo right there okay but still the gun flame for the win nicely done by player Oh, the twist counter hit. Makes way for a very nice, fully charged dust for ton of damage. Lots of the players have been. Lots of players have been. Uh, have been. Uh, oh my lord! Are you serious? That was crazy. That was crazy. Player used his aerial DP. Shit, no, 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 He used his aerial DP to punish the, uh... Ah, damn it, I think we're gonna have a connection error. Yeah, we're definitely getting a connection error. We're definitely getting a connection error. Ah, no! No! Ichisaki! Oh, no! Hmm. Can I change it? Ah, oh, damn it. Can I do first to one? Winners, 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 winners stay. Okay. <clears throat> ah, damn it. And just like this, we did a arc revo. <laughs> we did an arc revo. Well, basically, if uh, if player wins this one, we have a bracket reset. If he doesn't. Then uh, the, the the tournament is uh, is uh, over because Kohide would have won. Uh, actually, no, Kohide needs to win two of them. But it's okay. I changed the format to, yeah, yeah. Arc Akurevo no saigen des. Akurevo no. But とりあえず今一先に変更しましたんで、えっとこの試合が終われば、えっとこの試合が終わったら確かに二人ともがロビーに戻ってくるはずだと思います。確かに。そうですね。あーもう本当に嫌なんですよこれ本当に嫌,嫌やわうんしかも最終戦なんですよもう OK here we go I think yeah ああそう Who's gonna lose? うんアークレオそうですよもうアークレオのもう確実な再現なんですよあ今確かにブラケットリセットになりそうああブラケットリセットですすごいなイエーイ
Just like this, we have a bracket reset by player. Nicely done. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the match. And this is really unfortunate. <laughs> Please, Arc System, fix your game. Okay, anyways, here we go. We're going to get a bracket reset. I changed the format so it's first to one. So that this time around, we don't have a connection error. Okay, here we go. Back on track. So both players are in losers this time around. This is a bracket reset. So, Donika... <laughs> あ、どう、そうですね。どうにかの人欲しいっすよ、もう本当に。ああ。もうめっちゃくちゃ迷惑なんですよ、マジで。まあけどしょうがないです。しょうがないです。まだいつか、いつか来るといいです。直すといい。
I don't want I don't want to get a connection error, especially not now. Uh, we missed the bracket reset match though. This is so unfortunate. It's life. Okay, here we go. The only thing they fear is you. Okay, on to the third match this time around. Ah, uh, early, early uh, standing S right there from Kohide, my lord, really finding his way in, in the best possible manner, man. Here we go, jump in by player right there, Kohide, not contested by Kohide. Big bandit barrier right there, unfortunately for Kohide, it wasn't counter hit. Okay, here we go, player showing signs of life right there. Kohide doing a jo good job of, uh, of blocking the mixes from player right there. Very nicely done by Kohide, man. That Nasante on the Bandit Bringer, that was OD. Good stuff from Kohide takes the first round of the third match. Again, start of the round with a 5 H a 4 HS right there. Very nice conversion also, and nice carry. This DP is OD, it is, man. Well, it's actually not so OD because... Uh, because uh, it doesn't have invincibility frames, thank goodness, but like, if it did, it would be freaking crazy. Okay, very nicely done by player, responds in uh, accordingly, on the verge of winning, but still, as I say, this Kohide finds his way in. Oh, very nice follow-up. Oh, and yeah, this is, oh, okay, okay, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Okay, no burst from uh, from Kohi there, right there. Oh no! And the dash into the grab takes the win, Kohi there. Okay, on to the next battle. Okay, oh okay, it seems to work. I guess. Well, I didn't see him use K yet, but. Oh okay. Okay, big. Ah, uh, here we go. The, the early gold burst right there from Kohi there gets two bars. Of tension, okay, the, the K button works, <laughs> apparently, this is good. Oh, here we go, the... Oh, I think he blocked. Yeah, he did. Oh, and the DP. Very nicely done. Oh, and just run up and grab. Very nicely done by Kohide. Here we go. Oh, and the f near for the... Nah, he couldn't get the follow-up, though, but it's okay, he's gonna get this one, though. Ah, and the close S for the win, man. Oh, good thing we. Good thing his K button stopped working because now he's just rocking it, man. <laughs> and here we go. Second round of this bout. Let's see how these things will go. Very nice 2D right there to uh, to punish the, um, the gunflame. There you go. Wall break into soft knockdown. Okay, very nicely done by Kohide. Kohide is like uh, maneuvering out of the corner. It has been pristine, man. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go, the mix is all real. He couldn't get the second hit, unfortunately. Ow! That hurt like a mother humper. Okay, big bandit bringer. Ah, uh, I think this is gonna... Ah, oh, it's not gonna be it, actually. Not at all, not by a long shot. Yeah, okay. And Kuhide resorting to keeping his uh, burst... Uh, uh, not his burst, his tension and his burst, actually. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ah, and the run-up grab. This was cheeky. Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, the mixes, and again the fake into the command grab, and just like this, player puts one on the board as well, two matches apiece. This is crazy, going on to the wire, guys. This is great. Actually, really, really happy that that it ended up like this. <laughs> I want to watch, I want to see more. This is really awesome, good stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, on to the absolute last match of this tournament. Here we go! Let's see how it goes. But yeah, player definitely... I think like the the break... Le fameux 2-2 en grand final, exactement. I think the break uh, benefited uh, player because it probably enabled him to like, you know... To, um, to reset a bit the momentum that was clearly in favor of Kohide. Okay, on to the next... to the final battle. Here we go, just run up straight for S and this time around player 
player definitely baits the 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 what's it called the, the burst. Oh, here we go. The throw loop. You wanted to throw loop me. I'm gonna throw loop you. But Kohi actually doesn't doesn't take the bait. Oh no! He was a little bit too late to try to grab his opponent. And just like this, Kohide is looking actually pretty tight right there. Oh, he's gonna use the overdrive. This is gonna do a lot of damage, actually. Good stuff on the verge of taking this round. Ah, and the stand HS for the win. Good stuff from Kohide. This was probably a, um, it was most definitely a frame trap, actually. Very nice 6 speed. Good reactions from player right there. Ah, here we go, man. The onslaught is true, is real. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, and the DP, man. This was so cheeky. Definitely felt like Koida was gonna run towards him and probably grab him. Reason why he used the DP. Okay, here we go. Very... Oh, that, that wild throw is wild. Oh, and the back dash into the 2 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going on to the last round of the last freaking match. This is crazy. Big standing HS counter hit right there. Oh, here we go, the grab by player. Oh, okay, early, but he forced the burst by Kohide. Kohide. Ah, uh, that... Oh, my lord, that... This is such a freaking intense match. Oh, the wild throw. Okay, no... No touch. Oh, and this should do... No, unfortunately, it's not the case. <laughs> oh, this... Oh, what? What? Okay, here we go, the punish and the bandit bringer. Oh, whoa, that was crazy. And...